what really is the morale and the attitude among nurses that you talk to? Is it gotten to the point that they really are aware that every day they could contract this and that their life is on the line? Is this something that's on their mind and that they're talking about actively? Yes, absolutely. Um, because we don't have the, we, we're short on personal protective equipment. I talked to a nurse who's using the same mask, uh, that N95 that I was talking about for about five days. I mean, this is a mask that we normally go into a room, use once and then discard. Uh, the best scenarios that I'm hearing is that uh, we're being issued uh, one per shift. So with circumstances like that, coupled by the fact that we are not getting tested, if, if we are told even with a known exposure that we are to continue to come to work, and if we develop symptoms, then put on a mask and, and report it to our, our occupational health or, 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 or workforce and, and then go home. Um, this is not normal. Uh, nurses are, and doctors and all the medical healthcare professionals come to work every day wondering, you know, is today the day that I'm gonna contract the, the virus? So yeah, there is a, a high level of fear and anxiety among us. Well, I'm, I'm curious, and one of the things I've made a commitment to as I'm talking about this is I'm saying I'm talking about the science. I'm talking about the facts. I'm not reporting what politicians are saying. I'm not reporting what management and higher ups are trying to say who are trying to spin this, trivialize this, sugarcoat this. Why do you think that's going on right now? Is this just a CYA thing? I mean, it is what it is. Why are people trying to downplay this? Yeah, this is definitely not a time to politicize anything. This is a humanitarian issue, and this means all hands on deck. We are looking to the government to be laser focused on the epicenters and send any and every resource available to us today. We have to be ahead of the virus, and currently we're behind the virus. We need to enact that Defense Production Act and pump out the resources. Um, to, to, to the front line, because what we do here today will determine what happens everywhere else tomorrow, and we need to act now. I'm very you, how far do you think we are from the apex of this? I mean, right now, the city of New York is locked down. L.A. is locked down. Uh, Detroit, I mean, across the country, there is a lot of cities that are locked down where people are not going to be interacting the way they were 30 days ago. Where is the apex for New York City before this tops out and starts down? Is it a week, 10 days, two weeks, a month? I have to tell you, even, even a week ago, I, I couldn't believe how many people were still outside walking around. I think only very recently in the last couple of days where I'm starting to see barren streets where people are realizing just how serious this is. So what we do today is a reflection two, three weeks from now. And they're estimating right now that the apex is a couple of weeks away, yet it feels like to all of us that we've been battling a war here for years. I can't believe that we're still in the same month uh, when we had our first case. It is uh, surreal and it, it's, it's exhausting. And, and it is true that people between 18 and 40 are getting sick people that are otherwise healthy and young are winding up not only contracting the virus, but some of them in ICU quite ill, correct? Yes, that's right. Uh, one of the things that su surprised us is, uh, you know, uh, one, one out of every four to five uh, patients that are admitted currently, you know, we, we see or require intensive care. And we were surprised at the amount of younger people, you know, ages 18 to 45, 50, um, that are, are require a ventilator. You know, 32-year-old uh, male with no comorbidities, uh, getting quite sick, and 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 it is scary. So no one literally is immune from this uh, virus. 